G'day guys, Nate from Game Dude here. Today just a quick video as we assemble the Intel Nook. For this one we're putting in 4GB of Kingston 1600MHz memory and a Western Digital Blue 500GB hard drive. Let's pull it open and see what we got. The unit itself is just nestled in the top. Then there's an instruction manual, warranty information, a quick start guide, and a little Intel sticker. Beneath that, there's a power pack with several different attachments corresponding to whatever country you're in. Because we're in the land of upside down, we're going to need this one. As you can see, the power pack has a protective cover, waiting for you to slide on your required attachment then a little bag of screws for the visa mount and the hard drive. Let's get started shall we? These things are really easy. You just remove these four screws to gain access to the components inside. The plate just comes right off, and there we have access to our hard drive bay. With a little bit of encouragement, this bay will just pop straight out where you can install the memory. And there we go. We can see the wireless card and the memory slot. Line the memory up to the notches and clip it into place. As you can see, these units here specifically require 1.35 voltage memory, otherwise it doesn't work. Now we'll install the hard drive. It just slots in and clips straight into the SATA port. Mount it in place using a small screwdriver and the supplied screws. The plate can now be pressed back into place and it's ready to put the cover back on. Screw it back down and that's it, we're done.
Now we'll clip on the appropriate mains plug. It just lines up, slides down and clips into place. Let's power it up and run a MEM test. We'll just check to make sure the CPU and memory have been detected and are running at the correct speeds. Otherwise, that's it, it's that easy. Thanks for watching.